guys, Jangro here, and welcome to Prominence 2 RPG Episode 2. Check that out behind me. How cool is that? We met that guy in the first episode. At some point, we'll tame those. In this episode, we've been doing a lot of stuff at the base, and we're going to take on some ore multiplying. Is my copper pan set up. Over some playthrough, this is what we've collected. Definitely want to set up a copper pan setup. You can imagine how much these resources will accumulate if you've got many more copper pans. In another video, I had a build with 80 copper pans and it was just crazy quantities of those resources. So like I said, we're gonna do a little bit of exploration and getting our base set up in this episode and some ore multiplying, which I try to do every early game in any mod pack I play. Stick around. Let's take a look at some of the things we did to get our base in order. Like get some sheep. Hey buddy. Chop down some trees. Make some fences and gates. Set up a home for these little guys. Did you know you can pick up mobs? It's a carry-on mob. You shift right-click with two empty hands. And now we put a feeding trough in here, which you can just put food in and they'll feed themselves. Same thing for some cows. That tent makes a pretty good farm, kind of farm structure. What are you doing in there? Come on out. Now to find some cows. We got a drake out here. Look at this guy. Whoa, what are you, what are you doing? Oh my gosh. Well, if you have a drake for a pet, keep it away from your sheep. All right, here are some cows. Oh, what? it's a snake. I think we need to see what this thing drops. Huh, a snake tongue. All right, guys, you're coming with me. Hey friend, Marquetta, what are you? A vinery merchant. Okay guys, welcome to your new home. See, we put food in the feeding trough. They just eat it up. It's about time for a sleeping bag. This is from the Comforts mod. You can put this down and sleep anywhere. It does not uh, set your spawn point. Do a little cleaning up. Mow the lawn. And this place is shaping up pretty well. We made some chests. Expand our storage and we get this chest upgrade and we combine that with some copper. You can upgrade a basic chest to a copper chest. This is from the iron chest mod. Just make the upgrade, shift right click and it upgrades a single chest and it holds an extra row. So just to finish this beginner stuff, we just have to find a waystone. And also we need an anvil. I've got a few of these, but they're all damaged. So we need like 30 iron for an anvil. That'll take a while. Yeah, so for that waystone, I think I saw a village over here. Most villages will have waystones. Let's go check it out. We've got our sleeping bag. We can travel at night, no problem. All right, we're almost there, just up over this hill. There's a graveyard over there, but we've got our village. This is a pretty cool looking birch village. 
Let's see what's in here first. Oh. A totem of undying in a graveyard? That's ironic. And a spawner. We got a zombie spawner in that one. And look at these guys. These copper golems. They don't move. They're just like statues. Huh. Loot this village. Not much here. Best thing we got was like an emerald. Here's a waystone. And we'll just leave that there. We could probably break it. I'm not sure. But we can make our own. I don't think it's that difficult. Beekeeper, what is this up here? Um, what are you guys... What are you guys doing in this village? Lucinda, what's happening here? I don't want to know. Okay, these are rubber trees from the Tech Reborn mod. We'll grab a couple of these so we can get their saplings. This is the beginning to the Tech Reborn mod. We get a tree sap. I'm going to take your books and your lectern. Thank you very much. You are no longer a librarian. All right, this village served its purpose. We got an empty scroll. I think you can set this scroll to a spot and you can return to it. See you later, guys. On our way back, there's this structure. It's just a hole in the ground with a ladder. It's like a... Some sort of catacomb? Bunker? Oh. Looks like there's some graves here. Yeah, so it's like catacombs. Couple weapons, name tags, emeralds. Take both of those swords, put them together. We'll see what we get. Did I hit him by mistake? This is pretty cool. It's like pumpkin field is full of jack-o'-lanterns. Oh, there's one guy left. Take that for my army of souls. Oh, look, it's a lush cave marked by this azalea tree. We'll mark that on the map for later. Another grave. Another weapon in here. And we're back home again. Hey, guys. Miss me? All right, let's put these two swords together. And we end up with a sharpness two sword. Hey, our villagers are reproducing. I think we've got a healthy village here, keeping it safe. We'll expand our storage a bit more. This is going to become our Tom Simple Storage Network. We've got a whole bunch of books here. What can we apply? What putting the sweeping edge on here? All right, let's head down underground. We need to get some more iron. We need to find amethyst so we can work on these weapons.
What's this? Verglass ore? From a weapons mod? We got an, we got a uh, quest goal from it. Yeah, right here. Lunar source. These two stones are going to be important. One of them is a moonstone, one, one of them is verglass. All right, use our channeler to break this ore, which we get double. And we'll look later at how we can multiply ore even further. That's so we get three. I think we get three iron for each of those ores. All right, and we found a geode. This is gonna get us a bunch of amethysts. First, let's grab this gold with the channeler. All sorts of amethyst. That's 40. We've got some amethyst. Let's mess around a little more with the reforging of gear. So here's our katana. And I discovered that reforging is random. It doesn't go in a cycle. Common, rare, rare. So we're just burning through iron here. Common, common, common. Man, maybe I should stick with the rare. Yeah, that was some bad luck. So that's how reforging goes. Let's try it with the let's try it with the pickaxe because I've got a diamond here. It's just common, so we've got nothing to lose except for a diamond, two diamonds actually. So it needs to be full strength. And now we can epic. Okay, so not only does it have efficiency and unbreaking, but it also has extra twenty percent durability and five percent speed. So that was a win, cost two diamonds. Let's just take a look and see if it's noticeable. Pretty quick. And again, we've got the channeler we can use on these ores. And this is gonna give us more per drop. What I like to do starting any mod pack is to figure out, here we go this way, how to like maximize our ores as early as possible. And in this one, there's not a whole lot of options, but we want to take a look over here at iron ore and then right click on it or hit U to see what we can get. So, you know, in a smelter, you get one blasting, one industrial centrifuge from Tech Reborn gives you some nickel is really what that's for. So a forge hammer, which is a modern industrialization hammer, gives you four for three because these dust you can smelt into a single ingot. So here's a small increase. Furnace just does one to one. Pulverizing you basically four for three, which is a little better than the hammer. Hacker. Create just gives you a crushed raw iron, which plus some experience. So we can squeeze some experience out of these iron, but this crushed, crushed raw iron just goes into one. So it's really a one-to-one -one with that. In the um, end stone smelter, we can get three for two. I think that's the best so far. But alloy forging is pretty cool. We can get two for one when mixed with some coal or three for two mixed with, with raw iron. That's with tier one, but if we, if we go to a tier two, we get double. I think this is gonna be a good investment to create this forge. And tier two, if we mix in some coal or fuel with it, we get three for one. So we're getting double ore from using the channeler and then three for one if we mix it with coal. So that's six times, right? My math correct? So let's go ahead and make an alloy forge after it stops raining. All right, so I came inside to kind of dampen the rain a little bit. Let's take a look at these controllers, these alloy forge controllers. It's a whole multi-block structure, but these are the things that you have to craft. And it's these kind of blocks around a blast furnace. So Prismarine is tier two, Deep Slate is tier one, Polished Blackstone tier two, Endstone three, Brick one, Stone Brick tier one. We want to get to tier two. We might as well. We should be able to get some Blackstone from the Nether. We also need to go to the Nether for Tom simple storage setup, really basic, but amazing interface for a whole bunch of connected chests. So we need the inventory controller first, which is a comparator, which is 
quartz diamond and an ender pearl. So that's a couple of nether items there. The storage terminal itself, glowstone plus comparators and a crafting terminal is more diamonds on top of the, you know, with the storage terminal. So we need quartz and glowstone and ender pearls. So we'll see if we can find a warped forest and on the way, if we can get some blackstone, that would be amazing. All right, let's find our obsidian and build a portal. So I came back to the meteor because I need coal. And I realized that we've got blackstone here, right? Yeah, we've got blackstone. So we're gonna be able to, I think, make a forge without going to the nether first. I think it's finally time to take on this witch. Right, that's it for her. Oh, sometimes you can find blocks of coal in these meteorites. Keep an eye out for that. Okay, so I've cleaned this meteorite meteorite out quite a bit. Stack and a half of blackstone, eight blocks of coal, plus almost a stack of coal. We've got our obsidian. I think we can make a forge without having to go to the nether first. But then we'll go to the nether. We still need to set up Tom's simple storage. Okay, so let's now make the controller for the alloy kiln. I'm going to take eight polished blackstone, blast furnace in the middle. So we've got the blast furnace, oh, smooth stone. Okay. And eight polished blackstone. Stone cluster. So we've got this little button here, which lets us choose what we want from this. We're going to need a bunch more polished blackstone to make the actual kiln itself. I think that's plenty. Here we go. That's just a visual glitch right there. Polished blackstone forge controller. Okay, so let's now build the forge. Like, right, let's do that right here. So I believe the structure looks like this. There's a wiki that shows you how to build this thing, but I think it's a three by three. And the controller goes right here. And you build like a chimney around it. Crouch place. Right click on this thing, it opens up the forge. So it looks like this. Three by three in the bottom and then uh, sign with the, with the middle hollow and now we put fuel in here like this uses up a lot of coal we can also use lava i think lava is much better you just fill this thing up with lava it's just nice to have this these lava pools right here and there we go that's filling up fill it all the way up All right, now let's grab some iron. What's left of our iron and a block of coal. And according to the recipe, two iron and it's gonna give us four iron ingots. So if we can put some coal in, just one, let's try this one. There we go. That gives us three steel. Oh, that was steel. Okay, coal and iron make steel. That was my mistake. So we can get double uh, double iron. So this 10 is gonna become 20. And this 10 came from five iron ores. So we're getting four times. What can we use steel for? All kinds of stuff. There we go. 20 iron ingots. It does take two in there. Won't activate until there's two. Okay, there we go. We've got our forge, our, our tier two forge. Some of this stuff away. Now I think it's time to head into the nether so we can make Tom simple storage and get access to all our chests 
from one interface. Oh, but look at the time. I don't think we have time to start a trip to the nether and do Tom storage. We'll do that next time. In the, before we wrap, let's just take a quick look. It's worth mentioning that, so with the hopper, you can feed fuel and ingredients and extract from this. So you put a hopper on this side, that fills the fuel. You put a hopper on this side, it, it feeds the ingredients and below, underneath, like down here, hopper, if you put a hopper right there, it'll pull stuff out. Let's just see this work. You've got 64 rock hopper. That's going to fill it in with one, enough to do one recipe. Not sure how that'll work if there's mixed recipes and stuff, but, or like what it'll prioritize. Like if there was some iron and coal in there, but we'll have to test that out and see. But this will, will allow us to automate smelting with this. We also have an empty bucket now because that lava got used up. All right, and I think that's gonna wrap up this episode. We got ourselves a bit more established in our base and we set up some ore quadrupling, quintupling, tripling, depending on the ore with this alloy forge, which is a great early game way to stretch out your ore mining. So check that out. If you like the video, please like the video, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel to keep up with this series. I appreciate that very much. Thanks for watching, I appreciate you. I'll see you next time.